All right, I'm gonna. This is an iPhone 8 Plus. I'm gonna go over how to diagnose and repair the a bad rear rear camera. Um, after you've tried a new rear camera and it still doesn't work. Um, okay, so this is what we're getting here. This is the rear camera. It's not in focus. If I switch it to the front camera, it works fine. Um, rear camera does not. Okay. So obviously we try a new rear camera first, which I've already tried, and it doesn't work still. Um, next thing you can do is just um, disconnect the front camera, see if that fixes the rear camera, and then vice versa. Well, don't don't do it the other way because the front camera works. So so basically just disconnect the front camera. I don't know if it still applies or not, but I know in some of the older iOSs. Um, a bad front camera can also cause the the rear camera to not work, and vice versa. So in this instance, I've already tried to disconnect the rear the front camera, and um, the rear camera still does not work. All right, so front camera, rear camera. All right. So we're gonna go to the logic board and, and uh, diagnose and repair this thing. All right. So what you want to do is disassemble the logic board. Or you don't even have to do that. Just take the screen off, and this is the these are the two rear camera connectors right here. And all right, so you want to bring up ZXW Tools, and if you drill all the way down, you'll see the diode mode values. Diode mode values are um, these red numbers here. And diode mode is basically just a a function of your multimeter. Um, I we I use it all the time on this channel. Um, if you don't know how to do it, um, Google it. Let's see, I don't know if there are any good tutorials. I'm sure somebody has a good tutorial out there. Um, we have it in our in our course. Um, so if you want to learn all this stuff, then just go to the go to microsoldering.com and uh, click on store. And in our course, it has all these. Um, it tells you how to use all these tools, including diode mode. Okay, so diode mode is um, so these are the diode mode values. ZXW tool tools makes it easy. Um, if you don't have ZXW tools, which costs about 75 bucks per year. Um, you can download a free software called Phoneboard. You can go to phoneboard.co and it has, I don't know if it has everything or not, but um, I don't even know if it had diode mode values. I think it has just the, um, the connection points. Anyways, um, if you don't have it, you can just review this video because I'm showing it here. <laughs> so what we want to do is just test these two. This connector, which is the top rear camera connector, and this connector right here. Um, Alright, so diode mode and compare. Alright. So lucky for you I've already done all these all this and so basically what I found out was um, these values don't have to be exactly the same but this one's shorted right here and this connection is PPCAM BCM PVDD con alright so we're just gonna confirm one more time so red to ground and black to the pin and sure enough it's shorted this is 0.003 alright so let's go back to the XW tools and find out where this connection point connects to. All right, and in order to do that, you just click on net. So there's only one one uh, pin on red on the on the top, on the front side of the logic board, but on the back side, you'll see that it connects to these three components here. And then this is a filter, so you also want to go to the other side of the filter, um, see where else it connects to. All right. So it looks like it's probably connected to the CPU or something. Yeah, or actually, it's these. So it could be any of these components. And here's another fil uh, coil here, filter coil. And so basically, you just want to go through all these. You know, it could be, it could also be this high C here, but uh, more likely, it's probably one of these caps here, right? Probably this big one right here, or one of these two is blown. Um, so let's see, what else is I going to say? Um, what else was I going to say? Okay, so let's see. Alright, so let's just disassemble the logic board and then we'll, we'll uh, inspect the back side of the logic board. Alright, let's see.
I don't like leaving it in this black stuff because it is conductive. So, alright, so, this is on the logic board. Say that, um, this happened because they were trying to replace the back glass on this phone. So basically they were, they were doing a frame swap. Um, I don't know, maybe they tr they used the original frame and just put a new back glass on it. I'm not exactly sure what they did, but, okay. So, inspect the back of the logic board here, and, and those are the components that we're looking at, okay. So let's just drill down a little bit and see if we can see anything that's like cracked or burnt or something like that. That's very obviously not good. So this one looks a little crusty right here, like this one right here. Doesn't look horrible though. So let's go back to the XW tools and take a look. So it looks like so it looks like this one, this one, and this one. Okay, and I can't really tell. I mean, I mean this this doesn't look like bad right here. Uh, but if I had to guess, I'd probably say this one. I mean, does that look a little black to you right there? Yeah, it's definitely cracked. Yeah, it's definitely cracked. Okay, so let's just take this one out. Um, let's see. We probably don't even have to use a heat gun because this stuff is underfilled. So I think we can just use our X-Acto knife and just kind of pop it. Alright, well, bye. Bye! Uh, okay, so let's test it again and let's see if it's done. Yep, we are back in business. Uh, actually, yeah, we're back in business. So, if I can find that capacitor, which I don't know where it went, maybe this one. Okay, so is it this one? No, that looks too clean. That looks like a capacitor from another repair. Okay, I don't think this is it. <laughs> I don't know where it went. It's gone. Maybe this one. Yeah, this one looks a little bit. Maybe. I don't even know. There's got so many repairs there, and I don't even know where to hell these. Whatever. That's probably not it either. All right, I don't find, I can't find it. So, anyways, that was the problem. So let's 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 just reassemble the logic board and um, test it. So I always just put Kapton tape on the back of it after I'm done uh, because because that metal tape is actually conductive. So if you just kind of scrape it and put it back on, sometimes unless it's sometimes it like shorts things out, uh, and then it'll cause you some grief. So let's plug this mother back in and I'll speed it up a little bit. Or I'll just pause it. Alright, so let's test. Alright, the front camera works. And we're back. So that's the rear camera. And everything's back. So I don't know exactly how that cap got shorted, but I've actually seen it. <clears throat> a few times already on these uh, iPhone 7 or iPhone 8 Plus and maybe 7 Plus, I'm not exactly sure, but um, so that was a fairly simple one, you know. But the procedure for diagnosing and repairing these things are they're all very similar, you know. You, you really just want to, um, um, you really need the diode mode values. And if you don't have ZXW tools, you can always get a donor board and just compare them that way, you know. But it just takes a little bit longer, you know. So, um, if it's logic board related, then one of these diode mode values are, are gonna is gonna tell you uh, give you some more clues as to what the problem is, and then sometimes 
if all the diode mode value checks out fine, then um, always check to see if the pin is actually pushed in or not. Um, because that has kind of trolled me a few times too. These the connectors are, I don't know if they're cheap or what, but basically you want to um, you want to double check the the pins. I mean, sometimes they're pushed in and they're not making contact with the actual connector that of the device, you know, the camera or something like that. I've had that happen a few times. Um, so always check the pins, and that's really about it. Um, so if you're having a <clears throat> if you have a iPhone 8 Plus with a rear camera problem and it's not the actual camera it's logic board related this is how you repair it um, that's it um, I guess one last thing is I want to talk about well you know what I'll just do the course promo next I just want to say thank you for watching our videos on YouTube um, you know when I started micro soldering about three or four years ago maybe about three years ago um, I started because I ended up breaking someone's phone during a repair yeah this is back in the days of the iPhone 5c and as I was disconnecting the battery I accidentally pried off one of the little components next to the battery connector so my options were to try to try to fix it or to buy buy the customer a new phone and and that's kind of what started this journey well fast forward three years later um, we have a website now, microsoldering.com, and we also have an online training course. Um, it's $99.99 if you buy it through our website, and we go over just about everything that you need to know to get started on your microsoldering journey. Um, it's uh, kind of sectioned out into about four parts, and uh, the first part we just kind of go over all of the basics and tools, how to use diode mode. Um, and what kind of tools and equipment to buy and stuff like that. The second part, we talk a little bit about ZXW tools. And in the third part, we go over four of the most common repairs. Let's update this. Should be four common repairs. So it's basically no touch, no backlight, no power. And we just added a section for audio IC on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. And then the last part is data recovery, no boot. And just kind of a very basic um, uh, discussion about data recovery. So if you want to buy it, just go to microsoldering.com, click on store, shop, and then you'll come to this um, this uh, page right here. Just click on buy at Udemy, and that'll take you to Udemy where our course is hosted. Um, and you can even preview some videos of the course and see if you like it or not and right now it's we're at four and a half hours and we're adding to it um, as much as we can so uh, just make sure you go through our website otherwise the cost is a little bit higher alright thanks for watching